All right, thanks, John. We're here with the head coach in the assembled media. So, coach, uh, it, it's rare that you see in college football back-to-back -back pick sixes that begin a football game. Turnovers are bad, you know, within themselves. Um, what did you see on those two plays? And then, and secondly, at what kind of disadvantage did it put you in your plan offensively, if at all, after an opening like that? Yeah, what, what I saw is I got to do a better job of, uh, of coaching Brendan, you know, in those, in those situations to, to help him, um, you know, be able to, uh, to process. And, and, you know, the first one, uh, you know, when you work all the way across the field, if you're late on a quick game, but, you know, that's on me. I got to do a better job of, of making sure that he uh, is prepared um, a week in, a week out. And then on the second one, uh, you, what you saw there was was just their guy made a good play, man. He we were sitting on a situation where we're trying to clear it out with an out route, and you know he he guessed and he came off of the the, the out route and uh, and made a play. But but overall, you know we got to do a better job coaching. I got to do a better job of having the team prepared uh, to play. Yeah, you know, co coach. In that first quarter, obviously things began to, to snowball a little bit. They got to twenty eight to nothing. Their physicality. Can you talk about Pitt up front? How difficult was it? Yep. You lose Furnish at one, later in the game, but but even from the jump, the difficulty of blocking Pittsburgh's front. Well, we knew it was going to be uh, a challenge, um, and they did a good job, and they showed up with the uh, with the right mindset and ready to play. And um, and I didn't do a good job of having the guys uh, with the right mindset, uh, understanding the the matchup that we had, the physicality that I was going to take, the in, uh, intensity and enthusiasm that we started the game with. So you know, it's not on the players; it's on me to make sure that I you know fully articulate and have been prepared uh, to be able to play uh, in a game like this. Last two things for head coach Tony Elliott. Coach, you have been consistent in your message and your core values. Mm -hmm. Competitive stamina. Yeah. After a twenty-eight nothing first quarter, it was a nine-seven football game. Did you see anything in as bad as the loss might feel to you that you might be able to build on in terms of that value? You know, I thought that, that some guys uh, were, were able to persevere through the adversity. And, you know, it was it was a physical game. You got guys going in and out of the lineup. Um, but I thought the guys battled, you know, defensively. You know, they gave up in the second half. I think it was three drives for uh, for field goals. Uh, so there's there's, there's going to be some positive. Uh, but but for me, it's a lot of, uh, of ownership, of an evaluation, of making sure that I uh, do everything that I'm supposed to do as the head coach to have the coaching staff and the players ready to, uh, ready to go. Thank you, Coach. Tony, you said <clears throat> during the week that you thought the game would be won in the trenches. You, you knew Pitt was good in that area. Did you think it would be kind of as one-sided as it turned out to be, you know, particularly their defensive front? You know, a uh, ton of respect for, for Coach Narduzzi, first and foremost. Um, you know, I think he uh, does a great job of, of – Getting his guys to buy into what they're, you know, what they represent, the city, city that they represent, and they're always going to be physical. Um, and you know, for us, I thought coming off of the Miami game, you know, that the guys had an understanding of what it is, but uh, but apparently I didn't do a great job this week of of articulating uh, just how physical uh, it was going to be in the trenches, and that's on me. After Brennan throws the two picks, what's the conversation like, and was there any thought there to to go to Jay, if at all? I didn't have any thought to go to Jay, and the conversation is, hey, just don't think about it. Stop thinking and just go play, you know, because uh, he's he's probably his biggest critic, and he's going to be hard on himself, and um, he's he's played enough football and, and knowledgeable enough to know by the time he gets to the sideline, you know, kind of what the what the mistake was and what he needs to correct. And biggest thing for him is, hey, don't don't put it all on your shoulders. You know, there's still a lot of ball game left to play. Don't overthink it, uh, and let's just keep fighting and let's not play to a scoreboard. And that's goes back to to what competitive stamina is all about. It doesn't matter what the scoreboard is uh, because there was a lot of football left and still plenty of opportunities to go win the game. Coach, obviously all you can do is kind of go back to work on mm -hmm. this thing, but in the big picture, are you concerned with the damage that's kind of happening in terms of recruiting, attendance, that things because of this I season? I don't. I'm not, I'm not worried. Um, I mean, I came here with a, with, a, with a vision in mind, a goal in mind, and you know what? Uh, it may not be going exactly how uh, I planned it to be, but I'm not going to lose hope. I'm not going to lose a focus. I'm not going. I'm not going. Uh, you know, tuck my tail. And, and you back me in the corner, then I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna turn and fight. That's all I've ever done my entire life, and uh, gonna be accountable for the things that I got to change. And you know, the attendance. That's on me. You know, the fans are expecting to see a good product on the field, and you know, we've been inconsistent in what we're putting on the field. So I don't blame the fans. You know, that's on me. It's my job to make sure that we have a, have a winning product for those uh, those individuals to come and attend. And from a recruiting standpoint, hey. Uh, all I can do is sell uh, what my vision is, 
And, and there's going to be some guys uh, that, that, that believe in, in what we're trying to build here, and those are going to be the guys that, uh, that we want here at the University of Virginia. So uh, I'm not going to change my message in recruiting. I'm not going to change my message to the team. Uh, we're going to go back to work on Monday, and, and what we're going to work on is making sure that the core values uh, that we talk about in this program become values and not just, not just words. Uh, it's because for me, they're values, um, and I'm going to stand on those values. I'm going to fight for those values uh, regardless of what the circumstances are. Coach back, here. coach back here. Malachi today, first career touchdown, first game back this season. Is this kind of what y'all were expecting from him when you saw him in the spring, and kind of what he showed out there? Actually, you know, exceeded uh, my expectation from the standpoint of I was thinking that maybe 15 to 20 plays, and then later in the week, um, our, our our medical folks did a great job of of having him prepared that said we could push it to 30, maybe 40 plays, and. Uh, um, you know, Malachi has worked and extremely hard. Um, he's a he's a guy that 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 loves uh, the grind of football, and so just ha happy for him to have some success. Uh, but I didn't expect him to play as many snaps early in the week. Uh, but as we progressed towards the uh, the later part of the week, you know, I felt I felt a little bit more comfortable with the suggestion of playing about thirty or forty plays. Coach uh, Wicks, Thompson, Davis, and Jones did not play again. Are you expecting them to play in the weeks ahead? I'm expecting them to play, and and, uh, and and again, you know, we're going to do what's best for for them, um, and and I'm not going to sacrifice any young man's uh, health uh, to win to win football games. And it's the it's the the strength uh, the strength and conditioning the medical folks' uh, job to tell me when they're ready to go. I'm not going to question their assessment. Their evaluation is law. That's what I tell Miss Kelly uh, all the time. Uh, my job is to coach the ones that you say are available to coach. And you know, those guys are, are working hard. Uh, obviously, they're all disappointed. Uh, they want to play. They're competitors. You know, they're hurting in that locker room too because they believe that, that they could have helped the uh, the outcome of the game. But uh, at the same time, uh, you know, KT, if he's if he's 75 percent, I'm not going to put KT on the field. I need KT to be 100 percent. That's only fair to him, and that's only fair to the football team. So I'm expecting them to to be back next week, and and man, we'll take it day by day. And uh, at the end of the day, it's not going to be an excuse. We're not going to make an excuse for who we don't have. Uh, our job is to coach the guys that we have on the field that are available. Uh, that's why that that's why they put the C on our hat and um, again I'll be the first one to tell you I got to do a better job uh, of making sure that the ones that are available uh, I have them ready to play. There's obviously a lot you're dealing with on the sideline when this is going on but the furnish ejection uh, did you see what happened are you told what happened and what's I, your I didn't I didn't see other than Usually, it's the guy that retaliates that gets that gets caught, and uh, and and you know he had the situation early, um, but but again, you know the biggest thing for me is 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 trying to do things the right way, and and I'm I'm not big on uh, all the extracurriculars. Man, the game is too hard. You don't have time to waste energy on that, and you know sometimes tempers flare. I mean, it is a game of emotion. Man, it's a violent physical game. You know, as I as I told the guys in the locker room, when you start, you know, wanting to play in championship, you know, caliber games, and you have to you have to say they're the reigning champ, you know, until somebody else, you know, knocks them off and, and wins a championship this league uh, this year in the league, they're the champs. And and you know, they came in here with bad intentions. And it's and it's a violent game. And sometimes tempers flare, but the, the key is to make sure you control your response. And you know, I gotta be mindful of that with myself too, because I'm a competitor and but I'm also the head coach too, and the guys are gonna feed off of me, so I gotta control my response and and one of the things that, that I've, I've been adamant about, you know, from day one is, you know, we're going to win between the whistles, right? From, from, from the time they blow the whistle for the start of play until they end the play, that's when we want to win. And we're not going get, to get involved in all that other stuff. And you told Greg that uh, no consideration of going to Jay at quarterback, but you've got a package from it, wide receiver. Yeah. You're thin there. He's played four games. Any consideration about preserving a you red know, shirt? Um, again, uh, I want to win. There's no question about that, and I want to win. But I also uh, understand um, that it's it's more than that. And then these young men, they got careers, you know, that you got to think about. And so, you know, Jay's a guy that that um, that we got to take that in consideration uh, from from that standpoint. But there was no talk about you know putting him in at quarterback. Man, Brennan's our guy. I mean, for anybody to question, you know, about Brennan Armstrong, <laughs> question Brennan Armstrong. I mean, come on, man, this is. <laughs> He's one of the best quarterbacks that's come through this league. Now, you know, tough season. I get it, but man, let's let's, you know, uh, there was no consideration on my end. Man, I'm going down uh, with Brendan, and you know what? I'm going down with all those guys in that locker room. I got a question about: Do you go to youth route, right? And I told and I told the guys last night. This is exactly what I told them, and I mean this, right? They came to the University of Virginia. 
No, they did not come to play for me at the University of Virginia, but they came to the University of Virginia, and I'm going to respect that, right? And I want all the guys, young or old, that want to be a part of it to be a part of it because, you know what, they can play, they can play a, 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 vi a valuable role in laying the foundation. And so there's no consideration to go, to go younger. There was no consideration to go to the backup quarterback. Man, we were going to dig our heels in and fight uh, with the guys that were available to play. Last question from Greg. Yeah, you, you guys have been in a lot of close games recently, yeah. the last three weeks up until today. Do you sense that there is a will to, to finish the season strong from the team over the next two weeks? Do you sense that that will be that I do. something they're up for? I, I do, and, and, and the guys had a good week of, of preparation, you know, and, uh, but – you're learning if you just watch college football. Man, it's hard to win anywhere, anywhere. You know, even for some of the of the of the blue bloods right now, it's hard to win because everybody wants the same thing. And there's a small margin for error, and really, it's mental. Okay, so I asked the guys in the locker room, what was the difference between last week and this week? Well, you know, you you just because you uh, give everything you have and fall up short um, and and come up short, man, you don't fear doing it again. Right. You go you go challenge yourself to do it again. And then if you have success, you can't just assume that you're going to have success the next time out. Right. It's every single day, everything that you do, you got to be fully committed. And uh, and, and again, uh, just teaching these guys uh, the right way to think. And, and we got some work to do, but man, we're going to get there. All right. Thanks, Coach. We'll All right. Have, uh, appreciate Jane it. Armstrong, Malachi.